is Matt for avnation.tv. We are here in sunny Orlando, Florida at Infocom 2019. We're in the Kramer booth with my friend Clint. Clint, how you doing, my friend? Doing great. Thanks for uh, having me on camera. Thank you so much for joining us, letting us hang out in the booth for a little bit. Uh, anytime. Kramer has been, you know, known for the things that Kramer's been known for, for, for quite a long time. The last couple of years in our conversations, you guys have evolved tremendously. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about Kramer Platform. Sure. So we have a, a logo now, Kramer Platforms, and basically what we're talking about there, and let me just stop for a second and say, sometimes manufacturers in our industry use the word platforms and it's a, got a negative meaning for the integrator, Yep. because it means you need to sell the solution, Everything. it needs to be my stuff yep. all the way through. End to end. That's not what we're talking about here. Okay. What we're talking about here is multifunctional capability. And if I used to sell you a product that does A, <clears throat> and a solution that does B, if I can sell you a product that does A and also incorporates B, I should do that for you, and that's Kramer Platforms. Okay. The perfect example is VIA. Okay. With a VIA product, it's a wireless presentation and collaboration device, but I can also do other things in there for you. I can give you Kramer control because it's got a processor in it, so right. the brain, I don't need to sell you a separate CPU. I can do digital signage very simply from the player, from the actual VIA, so now you don't need a player. I can do encoding and decoding of H.264 streams, so okay. we can send you an IP signal, no need for a, a decoder there. So we, we can put this multifunction capability in that one solution and now it's a platform. So when we start talking about putting these solutions into it, is this something where it's enabled with a, a phone call or a web purchase? Is this something where there's multiple SKUs that integrators have to memorize and, and know, okay, this one is getting Kramer control, this one's just standalone via. How do they differentiate those? So a little of both. Okay. And I understand that, that you know that just creates but we've had 2,000 products in our line for a long time, so, so we've one more won't be too much. But to be honest with you, we're we're including the digital signage for free. We're okay. including the H.264 encoding and decoding for free. You want it to be your control processor? Yes, we're going to say okay. There's a fee to activate that. Okay. But they've already got the box. They've, they've already, already spec the, the box. So it really just is providing a fantastic upgrade path for a the integrator, but also the end user. They can come back and say, hey. Now that you're expanding that room from just wireless presentation, now we can do this, 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 and this. That's fantastic. Exactly, and I think the perfect example of that this year at the show mm -hmm. is that we've made an agreement with Sony. Okay. Every Sony Bravia monitor that's sold henceforth is yes. going to have Kramer control embedded in it. So you can buy the monitor, use it as a monitor, or you can turn on the license for that, uh, that, that okay. intelligence and control your room without the need for an external CPU from your monitor. The so, monitor will be the CPU. So when you're going through that process, is that something that, again, you said it's on every Bravia panel, is that going commercial forward. panels only? Commercial panels only. Okay, so when it's on those commercial panels, do they then, do, does the integrator or end user need to reach out to Kramer directly? Do they do it through their Sony line? How, how do they get there? Well, typically they would reach out to Kramer directly. If they okay. go to the Sony, then they'll get referred right back to okay. us. But, but we te we turn that on, make sure they understand how to use that, that particular control solution, get them certified as necessary. And, uh, right. uh, but it really ultimately benefits the end user and allows Sony to provide more functionality uh, to differentiate their product in that regard. That was a really big announcement you made, I, I believe on Monday, Yeah, uh, um, yes. about the, the Sony partnership. What made you decide to go down that route, not necessarily with Sony, but just in general of, hey, we're gonna put this on the actual display? Because no one else is really doing that. So, honestly, like with all things, it's like a casual conversation between two people. It happened to be our country manager from New Zealand okay. and, uh, and a rep from Sony that works in that territory for business development. And it was like, hey, you know, you could do, oh, well, that sounds great. Oh, let's go tell the folks in Japan and Israel and here right. we are today. Okay. Um, one of the other things I want to talk about is uh, audio. What are you doing in audio? I, I know at ISC, we got to play with uh, one of Yuval's babies. Yes. Uh, the, the brand new multi-function DSP that does so much more. Um, talk to us a little bit about that and, and what else is new in the audio side. Ab absolutely. So for a long time, we've had some audio, um, like speakers and so yep. forth. But you mentioned Yuval. Yuval's our rock and roll star who 
His that father got him to come work at the company, so now he's here, and he's developing an entire line of professional audio solutions. It's, that DSP is the, is, is, the, is the carrot, yes. and it's we're showing a picture of it on the back wall here. We don't actually have it here. It'll be introduced probably later this year. Yep. But then there are just other things. We have uh, Dante-enabled uh, uh, amplifiers of smaller size. Okay. So we're going to have this just complete line because he's an audio professional, and he he's doing it right from day one understanding what the market feedback is and meeting that feedback. I, I will say, his, uh, as an aside, one of the best um, audio-specific presentations I've ever been in was one of his. Just, uh, just a fantastic presenter. What is, as you said, you've had audio for a long time. What has made you continue to advance audio? A, a lot of manufacturers, I, I don't want to say they're sitting back and, and resting on their laurels of a couple loudspeakers, but that's happened a lot. What is driving you guys forward into audio, into more advanced audio products? So, you know, I don't know that as a company we probably would have went there as aggressively as we are now if it wasn't for the human factor. Okay. Again, Yuval is Amazing. Dr. Kramer's son, yeah. and he decided to come to work at the company. And so why not take what he knows best and put, and, and we're in the pro AV business, so, yeah. you know, I, we always focused on the video, but now here comes this audio capable human being and we're like, let's do it. Well, and it's a very important side of the conversation that you can have video and it can be dynamic and it can be very effective, but without audio, it, it's literally missing half of its potential. Exactly. So right. it, it makes a lot of sense. If people want to find out more information exactly. about uh, Kramer, all of your new Kramer platform products and, and Everything. solutions as well as audio and everything else where can they find that information www.kramerav.com is our website check it out there excellent thank you so much thank Clint. You, appreciate, appreciate your time so much. for more coverage from infocom 2019 and to learn more about avnation please visit avnation.tv that's avnation.tv